joining us now is the showbiz journalist and very lovely person, an expert on all this, Stephanie Tetchy. Stephanie, good, good morning. morning. Dawn, Thank Emily. you for coming in. No worries. But, uh, yesterday we were talking about this. Today we're talking about yeah. again. We have three front pages of the yeah. national new newspaper today covering different aspects of this story. Yeah. What's happened overnight? Well, overnight now we've had obviously now Philip has just come out with a statement saying that he feels like he's been attacked from the same old people with the louder voices. Um, Daily Mail have also made claims that the boy, the male in question, actually was not asked about his relationship with Philip. So that is now another spanner in the work because ITV have claimed that, yes, they did investigate it and both parties denied it as well. So, you know, this is the story that is going to be ongoing and more people are going to be coming out. And then obviously we've had Dr. Ranshing, mm. who is lovely man. I've interviewed him many times and he's always supported this morning. Mm -hmm. And I can imagine a lot of journalists are coming out trying to speak to anybody to get, you know, just a bit more idea of this toxic culture that people have been speaking about. And of course, he's come out and he said he's raised issues to the higher ups at ITV. And what this resulted in him was him getting less airtime and eventually being booted off the show. Interestingly, he actually names names as well, he? does he? name names. Martin Frizzell, yeah. the editor. The big the higher ups. Yes. And, you know, for him to do that, he must feel... I know a lot of people say, why now? It's because now it's all coming out. You know, Philip wants to say, oh, this, it wasn't toxic. But what I've seen or what I've heard is that they've been sweeping this toxicity mm -hmm. underneath mm -hmm. the carpets for so long. So now we've got this atmosphere where people can actually open their mouths comfortably about what's really going on behind this morning. This is just the beginning of many stories we're going to be hearing. I mean, do you think his statement... Well, it's certainly a bold statement from him... I, uh, suggesting that there are people who are out to get oh. him and out to get the show, but yeah. out to get him personally. Yeah. Comes across perhaps a little, little deluded, may what, I say that? What, what I've been, what's been annoying me about Philip Schofield is that he seems like he wants to shift the blame onto mm. other people and he has this very woe is me attitude. Mm. There is no smoke without fire. This show has been thrown into disrepute because of his actions. Mm. So he cannot be saying this is it's a lovely show and it's been attacked unfairly. No, it's because of his actions now the public are looking at this show and seeing the duty of care. At the end of the day, he had a relationship with a man. He may be 18 and it may be illegal and consensual, but there's going to be questions about whether he has abused his authority. And, and that brings us nicely onto the other front page today, which is Holly, who, has denied, who again has issued another yeah. statement. And we never complain, never explain what happened no. to that. The yeah. point so right. Holly issued a statement saying, I was lied to, I knew nothing about this, which when you go on holiday together every year is a bit of a moot point. Yeah. Front page of the mirror today, Holly, I'll be staying. Yeah. Will she? She's defiant. She seems like she wants to cling on to her job, which I don't think is the best thing for her long run. She's a very talented presenter. She's loved, even minus this storm, I think she still has a great career ahead. But this do you morning... Think? I do think she has on her own, but she's going to have to take some time out. Mm. I think her trying to rush back into the host seat of this morning is not going to do no favours. Because I'm thinking, um, because there have been reports elsewhere that this could be costing ITV tens of yeah. millions of pounds. That is yeah. huge. I mean, Phil Schofield really, really, really... And potentially yeah. the, the cover-up well, yeah. so who knew we what had when the front page of the sun today yes. about we've costing the business huge amounts and you know i always say no talent is bigger than the show and the show is a money-making machine it has been for the last 14 years with phil and holly and now if phil and holly aren't there i don't know if advertisers are going to want to spend that cash with just holly by herself and even if a show if it's been you know being painted out as it is affecting people's mental health well yes and the whole show was about real life stories and family family values and all of this stuff and it's been thrown into disrepute and advertisers are already pulling out so it could be game over for the for the show be.